Hey, it's Brian Mertens, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the art of watching plants. And, you know, how skilled are you at watching plants and finding patterns in the flora of your local environment? There's a lot of people who want to get outside and build their awareness of the plant life. Uh, but one of the biggest things that holds almost everyone back is that they don't know how to actually look at plants and watch what's happening with the plants in their complete life cycle. And there's been a lot of people through human history who have developed a uh, deep knowledge of plants and used them for food or medicine or really any purpose. And the quality that is always present in people who do have this very deep practical knowledge of plants is that the name of a plant is really just one small part of the knowledge that surrounds it. And that's the thing, you know, I see this so often where people want to just look at a plant and have someone tell them what it is. And then as soon as they have the name, you know, they're moving on to something else. Or the other thing that happens is that people are unwilling to look closely at a plant and learn about a plant if they don't yet know its name. And it's like there's some sort of magical attraction to knowing the name of a plant, but there's really so much more to having knowledge of plants than simply knowing its name. You know, plants are a doorway to a much deeper awareness. They, they change along with the seasons and the different conditions, and they tell you things about your environment. They help you track your environment for changes in weather. They help you learn about the wildlife. So there's this entire art of watching plants and being able to see how those plants relate to survival and natural living, wildlife tracking, and your overall understanding of what happens in an ecosystem. Really, what forms the basis of a good plant-based education is when you focus on building your pattern recognition skills and just taking the time to watch how plants grow and change over days, weeks, months, and years. And you learn some really interesting lessons by doing that because you start to notice patterns that make you aware of how your local plants fit into the larger context. So, uh, you know, the main thing that I want to give you in this video is just a bit of encouragement to get outside and practice watching plants. You know, one of the easiest ways to do that is simply to choose one individual plant and just take some time to look at it for a few minutes every single day in all weather conditions. Watch it from the earliest sprout to the emergence of the flowers. Notice what insects are attracted to those flowers. Notice if there are any animals that use it and then watch the transition from flowering to seeding and developing fruit and, and just watch that plant day after day. And what you'll find is that as time goes on, even if you don't yet know the name of that plant, you start to build a real tangible relationship with that plant. You'll get the image of that plant and how it looks in different conditions very clearly in your mind. You'll start to notice it growing in other parts of the landscape and you'll notice it growing in places that you previously weren't really tuned into. So, um, you know, I've done a lot of plant watching in my days and it really does change how you're able to perceive what's happening around you in nature. So uh, go spend some time watching plants, use it as a meditation to quiet your mind and get closer to nature. If you wanna learn more about observing patterns in nature, I created a free training video that will show you how to read patterns of plants and trees in a forest. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description and that is the art of watching plants.